In this video, we'll be trying out this eco-worthy 2000 watt sine wave inverter. And we're gonna really put this to the test by powering up this heating coil for a smoker. And this is really gonna go and put this to the test as even my household electricity is tripped by the load that this demands. Stay tuned. Hi everybody. Welcome back to Random Fix. So I'm going to make a quick review here for the EcoWorthy 2000 watt sine wave inverter. And I've been using this for the last month as I'm getting ready to go and make an off-grid solar system for my house. So let's go ahead and see what this can go and do. And I do have an amp meter hooked up over here so we can see how many amps this is going to go and consume. Let's power up the unit. Currently, you'll notice that the voltage is dropping because the smoker here requires 1400 plus watts and we can check that on the menu here so we're currently putting out 1560 watts there's the temperature at 82 degrees voltage is down to 11.6 and this unit is still running no issues and the ac voltage is currently at 114 so it's definitely holding steady and this is why i wanted to make this video for you guys because it's really hard to find a 12 volt high output sine wave inverter as when I was building my camper van, I was really disappointed with the options that were out there. And for under $300, this is definitely looking good. And they give you a lot. So it came with the wires here and also the fuse, which is rated at 200 amps. And currently the inverter is taking in 150 amps. This is super hot. And if you guys want to get more out of your inverter, make sure you guys check out my Golden Mate video as I'll actually show you guys the real advantages of having a lithium iron phosphate battery. And even though the 12 volt voltage has dropped down to 11.39, this is still continuing to operate. And what I like about the unit is it's got two USB ports. It's got a remote port right here. And I think the remote actually comes with the unit. So you get the unit, the remote, owner's manual, and the power leads here. And this is gonna be two gauge wire that's included automatically. We're still taking in 150 amps 12 volt this is not getting hot if you're enjoying the video here on the eco worthy sine wave inverter make sure you guys give the video a thumbs up if you're new to the channel consider subscribing as it really helps the channel out and it would mean the world to me overall this is a very good inverter i think you'll be very happy with it and i'm glad i found out about it thank you again because of the issue i was having with the gfci and i know this is not going to be the only appliance that's going to go cause this issue i was getting ready to go make another outlet right here that is not GFCI protected and therefore when I have a, such an appliance I can go ahead and plug it into here because my fuse panel is newer with all of these new circuit breakers that incorporate the art tester and these are problematic for appliances that consume a lot of watts and thumbs up to EcoWorthy for making a great product. I hope you enjoy the video here and if you're looking for a 12 volt sine wave inverter I think you're definitely going to like what this can go ahead and do for you as it's given me nothing but joy using it and I'm going to be able to use my smoker and it kept me from having to install a dedicated non-GFCI outlet at my house because of the efficiency of it and also the ease and after using the inverter from EcoWorthy for the last month and a half I've come to actually realize that they make a lot more than just the inverters as you guys saw in the video I had the charge controller the hub and a few other components well, these guys actually make really good solar panels and their solar panels are pretty cheap. You can actually get 200 watts of solar for under $105. And they make batteries and other system components as well. And if you guys are watching this video and you don't know where to begin off with or this whole thing is very confusing to you, I'll leave you guys a playlist to my Sprinter camper van conversion and you can watch the whole series from start to end and that will give you some ideas on what to do and if you have any questions that are not answered in this video please comment down below and I'll point you in the right direction. Thank you again for watching the video and if I didn't mention it earlier in the video EcoWorthy actually sent me this to go ahead and test out not to go and do a review on it. I was just so impressed with it that I decided to do a review. As I mentioned before when I was building my Sprinter van it was really hard to find a high output 12 volt sine wave inverter for cheap and this actually checks all those boxes and it works well and don't forget to check out those links at the end of the video if the video is helpful give the video a thumbs up and i really appreciate you guys watching and make it a great day thank you